Marcy Mowry, President of the Pennsylvania Parks and Forest Foundation, and today we're going to talk about campfires. When you're building your campfire, please refrain from cutting any living or dead standing trees. Gathering wood is okay um, if it's on the ground, but avoid cutting of any standing trees or tree limbs. Many of our friends groups and state parks sell firewood. Uh, this is beneficial to you and your park um, in, in several ways. One is if you're not transporting firewood, it reduces the risk of transporting invasive insects and diseases. As you may know, we are battling hemlock woolly adelgid, emerald ash borer, and spotted lanternfly. So if you reduce the amount of wood that you transport, we can potentially reduce the transport of these invasive species. When you purchase front group firewood, and we're here at Little Buffalo State Park, and the friends group here sells firewood, that money is reinvested into the park in projects that will benefit you, the visitor. It's also reinvested into events that you may attend, such as here at Little Buffalo, the Festival of Lights and the uh, Apple Festival, uh, which are typically held in a, in a non-COVID year. Uh, the other thing to think about when you're building your fire um, is build it in the designated fire ring. And when you're burning your campfire, Please refrain from putting anything into the fire other than wood. Um, oftentimes, you know, Joe and I are serving as a campground house, and one of our responsibilities is cleaning out the fire rings uh, of trash. And as you can see in this particular ring, somebody has put all their cigarette butts. Um, but you know, also we find all sorts of trash, and it, it's either a volunteer or a very busy staff person that's having to clean that out if it doesn't completely burn. And sometimes what you're burning could be toxic. So. Um, don't burn anything other than the firewood. And when you're finished with your campfire, please extinguish it properly. Um, you want to be able to hold your hand over the coals and not feel any heat emanating from it. This is particularly important right now because we've been going through a very, very long dry spell. Um, and so, you know, if you leave a campfire that's still hot, there is potential for um, a, a wildfire to start, particularly if you're in a, in a, in a setting that's not surrounded by gravel. And stone. So campfires are a wonderful addition to a camping experience. I'm a big fan of s'mores and mountain pies, but do it wisely. Thank you and uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye.